Camden used to be like, you know, sort of this place where you could just come and be yourself. And yeah, those, those first 10 years of coming down here, it was, everything was a bit different. Everything was a bit sort of wild and a bit crazy. You know, whether that was from the viewpoint of youth or the fact that Camden was that mad sort of random place where you could literally do what you wanted. There's a certain feeling of gentrification, the normalisation of London, making every street, every shop and every person the same. It's, it's terrible, it's crap out there, it's very dull, it's very boring. You see the same sort of things on every single high street. The community spirit in Camden is is alive and dead at the same time. I mean, we there was a point in time where everyone knew everyone. As of late, it's just become it's more of a, a sort of loathing of other traders. You know, there there doesn't seem to be a concern for your neighbour anymore. The article I wrote was about uh, the development of Camden Market and the changes that were taking place there, and um, really looking at the concerns of the stallholders and shop owners in Camden. I was looking at Market Tech, who were the company who owned Camden Lock and some of the other market areas. The head of Market Tech is Teddy Saggy, who's an Israeli businessman who'd um, served time for ins um, insider dealing. Um, he'd made a lot of money off various internet, internet um, enterprises, including pornography and gambling. When I went to the market to speak to the stallholders, they'd all happy to speak to me and very willing to speak and eager to speak, but they would give their names and were very, very um, conscious of not giving away what they sold, where they were based in the lock, because they were just very frightened that Market Tech would use this information against them. But the fact that also that all of them didn't do it kind of told a story in itself, you know, that these people were so frightened. It's not something I've ever experienced before. Yeah, I think the market traders in Camden probably do feel attacked and threatened because there is, you know, the danger that they're, they're going to lose their livelihood. They were worried about the actual um, redevelopment, which would involve knocking down some of the old market buildings and replacing them with new ones. They were concerned what that meant for their own premises, where they would be forced to go. They were worried about um, the introduction of various kind of um, electronic monitoring systems. You had to use, I think, Market Tech's own p um, payment system. Um, and they felt that that was, uh, they, they didn't like that because it meant essentially that Market Tech would have access to how much they were making, which is how it works in a shopping mall, but not traditionally how it works in a market. One of the traders told me they, they were threatened with a 75% rate increase. The one thing that is, that has gone a bit sort of odd with the shops themselves, it's not so much that each shop is unique, it's more a case of each shop is no longer independently owned. You know, we're starting to get high street brands in Camden that are operating at a loss, but there's just that present need for, you know, big corporations to have a face on every high street, whether or not they're making money. So I think, yeah, it's not so much individuality, it's more a case of Camden's clone to every other high street. <laughs> 